Hello again. Welcome back to Sunday School. If you're joining us for the first time, my name is Megan and I will be teaching uh, Oxford Presbyterians uh, Sunday School for the month of January. I hope you had a great first week back at school. I know I did. And I want to talk to you this week about Jesus uh, being baptized by John. I'm going to start by reading Matthew chapter 3, verses 13 through 17. Oops. At the time Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan River, he came to John and wanted John to baptize him. But John tried to stop him. John said, Why do you come to me to be baptized? I should be baptized by you. Jesus answered, Let it be this way for now. We should do all things that are right. So John agreed to baptize Jesus. Jesus was baptized and came up out of the water. Heaven opened and he saw God's spirit coming down on him like a dove. And the voice spoke from heaven. The voice said, This is my son and I love him. I am very pleased with him. Next, I'd like to show you the video from our friend Carly. Hey everyone, it's Carly. Did you know that Jesus got baptized? When Jesus decided to get baptized, he went to the Jordan River where John the baptizer was baptizing a bunch of people. Jesus waited in line with everyone else. And when it was Jesus' turn, John was so surprised. He knew that Jesus was special, and he wondered why Jesus would want to be baptized by him. The scripture tells us that John baptizes Jesus, and a dove comes to remind Jesus that God is happy with him. This story is the beginning of Jesus' ministry. I love that the beginning of Jesus' ministry was about him being with a community. The group probably had carpenters, teachers, and all types of different people in it. By being baptized, Jesus makes it clear that he was part of the community. We too are part of a community. Sometimes, when we think about doing things for God, we might think we have to do something that stands out or to do it alone. But Jesus taught us that being part of a community means making sure everyone is included. In my school, we have athletes, artists, musicians, people who are good at math, and people who are good at crafts. All of us are needed to make our school community work. When our team has a game, the band plays music to keep their spirits up. When we have arts and crafts show at school, the math club students help by taking payments and counting the money. We all work together and use our gifts to help the community. By being baptized, Jesus shows us how important it is to be included in a community. And we honor his example by sharing our gifts with one another. Now, it's your turn to wonder. Okay, it's our turn to wonder. First question I have is, how do you imagine John the Baptist's face looked when Jesus asked him to baptize him? I'm sure he was kind of like, wait, what, me? Me? You want me to baptize you? Already, Jesus was someone that people knew was special. And here, Jesus is asking to be baptized just like some regular person. So I'm sure John had quite a reaction to that. Hey, have you ever seen a dove in real life? If so, what did it look like? I can't think of a time I've seen one in real life, but I know what they look like. They're white. They seem so peaceful. It makes sense that that was the messenger that came from the heavens at Jesus's baptism. What do you imagine God's voice sounds like? So the heavens opened up during Jesus's baptism, and there was this voice that said that he was pleased. This was his son, what do you think that voice sounded like? I always picture God's voice to come as this big, booming, loud, magnificent sound. But I wonder what you think it sounds like. Have you been baptized? I have. I wasn't baptized at the Oxford Presbyterian Church, but I was baptized at the First Presbyterian Church in Eaton, Ohio. That's where I grew up. 
And in the Presbyterian church, we baptize uh, babies. You can be baptized at any age, but I know a lot of people choose to have their children baptized as babies. I baptized both of my girls or chose to have them baptized when they were very young. We do that in our faith kind of as a commitment to include our child at, from a very on, early on age in this community of faith so they can be involved in that community of faith, much like Jesus made the decision to be baptized with a community that uh, some surprise some folks. Um, not every church baptizes babies. Some churches uh, wait and baptize adults or when you're old enough to make the decision yourself to be baptized. Um, in our church, we baptize anyone, no matter the age, but we do baptize babies. And then when you become a middle or high schooler, you can choose to become a member of the church, uh, which is what the confirmation process is all about, which we have some church uh, youth going through right now. Um, there are different types of baptism. I don't know if you know that, I had the baptism where they just sprinkle a little bit of water on your head, but there's also a baptism like Jesus's that involves like being dunked in a whole body of water. All right, those are all of my wonder with me questions. Uh, but before we go today, I want to do uh, one more thing. First of all, I want to remind you about the star words. Um, I mentioned these last week and your parents should have gotten an email this week. I know because I got it as a parent as well. Um, the information about this is in that email. If you'd like to participate and create something, I believe they are due back by January 15th. So please keep that date in mind. That's Friday. You've got some time to work. All right, before we go, I want to remind you that Jesus was baptized and there was a voice from the heavens that said, this is my son whom I dearly love. I find happiness in him. I want you to know that God finds happiness in you too, just the way you are. And with that, let's bow our heads and say a quick prayer. Thank you, God, for including us in your family. Help us to love others in our community as you love us. Amen. All right, that's it for Sunday School this week. I hope you have a wonderful week. There won't be a new lesson next week because of the long weekend. We'll take it off, but we'll be back the following weekend. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.